Tell me about Virgin Sport. Why is, I, I, whenever I talk to you, I ask you about why this business, <laughs> why sports, why, why races and so on? Sport's always been uh, a very important part of my life and, and it should be an important part, I suspect, of everybody's life. Um, uh, I was actually um, riding in the Cape Argus up a very steep hill when my son-in-law, Freddie, uh, came alongside me and he, he started talking about this um, idea for Virgin Sport and how you know, we could, we could create this great sporting event which was more like a music festival than, than just a sporting event where it could be fun for the family, for the kids, for everybody. And, um, and I was exhausted going up this hill and I just went, yes, take you know, whatever you want to do. <laughs> and so, yes, that's why, alone. <laughs> so that's why, we, that's why Virgin Sport got born. And then we've got this wonderful Mary, woman, Mary, who, who's got so much, uh, so much experience from the past. And, um, on board, and, and she's, you know, the, t the two of them have made it all become reality. No matter what's the, what's the revenue model? What's the business model here? So very much, um, first, we want to be the greatest experience for participants. So they will come and pay entry fees, and what we want to do is create um, such a movement around this that it's it's for partners a great opportunity to be part of people's lifestyles if they you know what happens you pick a big event to train for and you want to soak up everything about how to prepare for that event what to eat how to how to work out what to wear and so for partners is a great chance to be part of the whole journey into a healthier life for someone when they can associate with the part with the participants who are training and then I think we have a bigger picture opportunity because when you look at the potential bringing sponsors, which helps us keep costs lower for participants and spectators, which is great, um, these are about the communities. So it's about San Francisco. It was about East London uh, a month ago. The opportunities for brands to be part of a community and raise their awareness in association with the community in addition to the, the sporting and fitness events um, is all added value to a partner much more than if a partner wanted to be part of a race. So it's a business model that's sponsorship, participant, uh, more and more um, uh, added value that comes from spectators if they're having a great time and they want to stay longer and, and eat more and, and participate in more activities. It sounds like the New York Marathon meets Lollapalooza on Facebook or something, <laughs> right? Is, that, is, it, is it a combination, well, so, combination of, yeah. of both a marketing event but also this sort of participant and, yeah. and fans? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, in London we did the we did the first event, and um, and it was an experiment, and an experiment that I think everybody absolutely loved. Um, I, th I thought the only thing lacking was I would love it, everybody to have stayed all night with tents and you know bonfires and 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 people playing guitars by the tents, and um, and I, and and next year I suspect that's what we'll do. So, um, you know, so I think that, you know too many of these sporting events are all around one individual who wants to, you know, say yourself, you want, you want, to, you want to run a marathon or half marathon, you know, that's great. Um, but, it's, but it's also lovely if, if you could bring your family along, you know, they can see you in the last five minutes and give you a, a clap, but it, they can have a, bl a blast all day with lots of fun, fun things for them to do as well. Is, is New York the model, New York Marathon, is it this sort of a sporting event model or is it more Tour de France? Uh, I'd say it's a mixture. It's uh, Tour de France, we're putting the uh, bringing the spectators even closer to the action and giving them a way to participate beyond standing there for a second and watching everybody go flying by, right? So how do we get them more involved? And in what's really neat and, and authentic about the way we're growing this is we're standing there in East London and we're, people are having a great time and Sam, Richard's son, says, you know, he plays, he plays guitar. He said, oh, I, I can bring my guitar. We can, we can, we can, we can jam with the other spectators, have them bring their instruments while everybody else is, is in the middle of a run. And so this idea of active participation for everybody is, I think, what's most different versus what's out there. Is it going to be a big business? Will it be a big business? Yeah. It'll be, a, a, I think, a business that we'll be proud of. I mean, it's, um, uh, you know, I was bowled over by what, what happened in London. Um, and I think, you know, I'm really looking forward to coming to San Francisco. Um, it'll be an incentive for me to also get fit and healthy for these events. Um, and you know, if, if it, it you, know, you never know with Virgin businesses, we sow, we, we sow the, plant the acorn, sometimes they grow into, you know, very big businesses, sometimes they stay relatively small. I think this one has a chance of growing into a global business. Um, well, if you'll run, I'll run. You're going to run it? 
Um, <laughs> I, I, I most likely will run it. I've, I've, um, I, I do a lot of biking, a lot of kiting, a lot of tennis, and I just want to make sure that um, uh, I don't wreck, wreck my knees, which I've had I've, I, when, I, when I was about um, yeah, nine, I had my cartilage out, so I've been told to be a bit careful. But if you're running it, then maybe I'll just say right, some, some, something, something that is. <laughs> it's been 20 years since I did a half marathon, right. so I'll, uh, it's Great. time. Excellent. I have recreated, um, Richard doesn't know, but he was the muse for the creation of one of the events in the San Francisco Festival of Fitness. So very iconic, San Francisco's Twin Peaks, right? So we're going to do the Twin Peaks mile, so you can race the mile, or we have two waves. I could see Richard doing both. <laughs> well, there um, you one is the uh, high intensity hit and run, where you'll run a quarter mile, r walk or run, and then do planks. Run the next quarter, do some push-ups. Run the next quarter, keep, keep the core fitness in the run. So it's, it's much more than a run, right? It's, it's more fitness and core, which Richard's great at. Um, and then we have the style mile, which is about uh, fancy dress and a lot of fun. So I can well, see I'll that. Do, I'll, I'll go for that one. A <laughs> good fit too. And I want to chime in on the business. It's going to be a huge impact business. The ripple effect that we can have by getting a lot of people moving. So we're really starting this saying, how do we really move people and get people inspired and they'll get their friends and their family and it'll go from there and we will create value for everybody through this and that's the way we'll get to a most successful business over time. Can I ask you about other businesses? Uh, uh, the, the ongoing uh, you know, Alaska takeover of Virgin uh, America, you know I spent a lot of time in Virgin America. Um, uh, What's the latest in the licensing battle there and their use of your name? I mean, they're committed to this for how long? Um, I think they, uh, they, they, they've they said that um, they'll continue to use Virgin America um, for another, I think, 18 months, something like that. Um, and then they're going to merge uh, merge all, all the planes into one brand, um, Alaska Airlines. But don't they have a, a responsibility to continue to pay Virgin for the the, the, the duration of that contract? Which yeah, goes they, well they, 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 until 2030, they they carry on paying royalties, um, uh, unless we decide to start another airline, and and um, so uh, we'll see what happens. Is that something you'd be willing to do? Watch this space. <laughs> And watch outer space too. <laughs> well, exactly. You can have a, you have a stop over Mojave. <laughs> uh, and, yeah. let me, and finally, let me ask you about the space business, Richard. Uh, the the you know it looks like you're making great progress there. Uh, any notion of timing, or what's the status of that business? We're having a really good year this year, um, both with Virgin Orbit, our, our um, uh, rockets that are going to uh, go into orbit and you know put satellites up there. The test program's going great there, and and with Virgin Galactic. Um, so, uh, the test program's going, you know, really, really well. Um, so, uh, you know, we're, we're um, yeah, we're, 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 we're as confident as we've ever been that um, we're, we're very, 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 very nearly there. And you're still planning to, I think your plan was to take your, your mother in one of the first flights? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, 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 my mum's 93 now, so we're, 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 she still wants to go. We'll have to see, we'll have to see whether... You know, do, that's why I'm hurrying them up. Come on, <laughs> my mum's get, getting on. She wants to go to space.